Yesterday, we had rounds of showers and storms come in that really kept our temperatures a little bit cooler than normal. 84 was our high in Springfield yesterday, with temperatures only topping off in the 70s in our northwestern and northeastern counties. Still had 90 degrees, though, in parts of Arkansas. Today, we didn't see that. We saw a little bit more sunshine. So, our high today in Springfield was 88 degrees, 92 in West Plains, 87 up in Rollin, 89 down in Mountain Home. Right now, temperatures still very warm. It's 82 in Springfield, 79 in West Plains. And 77 in Rolla, and it is muggy out there with dew points in the lower 70s, really across the board, and a couple of middle 70 dew points. So it's very humid out there. And we've also got a couple of showers to talk about. We've got this boundary or this line of showers and storms from Lockwood down towards Galena, and now making their way north of Yellville and north and east of Harrison, Arkansas. We've also got a heavier pocket of rain just south of Lamar and down towards Pittsburgh, Kansas. Now, these showers and storms, very hit or miss. Not everybody's going to see showers through the evening and overnight hours, but just keep the umbrella handy as you're heading out for any of your Saturday night plans. The showers don't have a lot to work with. There's not a ton of atmospheric moisture in the air, and this really isn't an organized storm. It's more of an upper level disturbance or a weak hiccup in the atmosphere. We're not looking again at widespread showers through the overnight hours, but just keep the umbrella handy. I do have shower chances through about midnight, then temperatures will drop into the upper 60s and lower 70s. Some patchy fog is likely to develop, much like we saw this morning, and we'll have have partly cloudy conditions. So we'll keep the shower chances mainly over southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. Could get some shower chances though here in Springfield through the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, again, some patchy fog is likely with temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Then by tomorrow afternoon, much like we've seen over the last several days, is we'll have those pop up showers and storms really start to bubble up through the afternoon. Temperatures will top off in the middle and upper 80s. Those will fade, the clouds will move out, and by Monday morning, Temperatures will be warm again in the lower 70s. Now, we're not done with the rain chances. We're going to have another chance at daily showers and storms through the day on Monday. Tuesday looks dry, but notice we have this upper level disturbance over parts of the West Coast. That will swing in a cold front through the day on Wednesday. And watch what it does to our temperatures. We're going to have temperatures in the 90s by Tuesday and Wednesday. That cold front will sweep through and knock our temperatures back just a little bit into the upper 80s. We've also got those shower chances moving in. Now, the front will push through, bring shower chances for Wednesday and into early Thursday morning. It's a little too early to tell for any severe weather, but heavy rain does look possible with that round of showers and storms. Overnight tonight, if you want to go camping, very warm. Temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. We'll keep that shower chance again through about midnight. does look a little bit soggy to go camping. If you want to go golfing tomorrow, I say go for it. Just keep an eye to the sky. We have that chance of showers through the afternoon. It's going to be hot with temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Feel like temperatures in the middle and upper 90s, depending on who gets to see a little bit more sunshine tomorrow. And again, if you want to go fishing, looks like Tuesday will probably be the best day. But it's going to be hot. So stay hydrated and, of course, keep your eye to the sky. Keep the umbrella handy. Tuesday, we'll have more sunshine, temperatures in the lower 90s. And then we'll have plenty of sunshine by the end of next week after that front comes through, bringing us those showers and storms. And look, a Saturday where there's no major <laughs> there's events. No <laughs>